I made a video a few weeks ago about how Game Awards and Game of the Year are meaningless. And that video was very specifically directed at gamers. I won't recap it, but you go watch it if you want. Doesn't mean literally anything at all, but a bunch of people who don't even know each other and didn't discuss this voted for something that you don't agree with. Like, who cares? It doesn't mean anything. To the people who work in the industry, winning awards does matter. It's not biggest deal on the planet. Like, it, you know, I don't think people rationally should be upset if they don't win an award, and that's not why you should be making games, and you should always be happy for whoever wins. But for some of these people, they only get nominated for Game of the Year once, and thus only have one opportunity to ever kind of represent their career on that scale and, and thank people and show appreciation and, and take in what they've done in their careers that have gotten to that point where any even meaningless jury has acknowledged them. Like that's your life. The games industry is a very consuming industry to work in. And so, like I said, that video was directed at gamers, not at devs and publishers who it does matter to, and it makes sense that it matters to. And that's why I wanted to talk about this year's Game Awards. I'm not going to be the first person to say this, and I also feel like this conversation kind of comes up like every year in different facets, but I still wanted to address it because this year's Game Awards to me felt a little, I want to say disrespectful, even though that feels like a very heavy word to use, but I think it's probably the most appropriate considering the context. So the Game Awards is certainly um, a show about marketing. That's how it funds itself, right? And I have plenty of positive things to say about Jeff Keighley and the position that he's in and what he does. Like, I think, frankly, as an industry, we're lucky to have someone like Jeff. Like, the fact that an independent person is of their own accord creating these shows solely because they love video games and to keep it afloat and to pay people and to make it bigger and cooler and better and more exciting. Again, as an independent, like, there are so many worse cases for this being done. As somebody who also runs an award show, uh, I created and I'm the director slash writer slash producer slash whatever of the video game accessibility awards. It's really hard. <laughs> it's like such a brutal job and Jeff does it on a scale that like I can't even fathom. But man, when you have an award show and you have something like Indie Game won for Sea of Stars by Sabotage Studio and they are just a throwaway two second aside, um, I believe the statistic was that the show was like three hours or two and a half, three hours, and there were only 30 minutes of actual awards. The rest of it was trailers and marketing. And to be clear, I am okay with trailers and marketing. Like I've heard criticisms that the game awards that people are like, it's just a bunch of trailers. I'm like, yeah, I love those. I recognize that they're advertisements. I get that, but I love video game advertisements. It's like, I love getting excited about the new stuff that comes in the games industry. Like, we all know that. And we know that that is why Jeff gets views on the game awards. People tune in for the reveals. They don't tune in for the awards. While every other award show is declining in popularity, the Grammys, the Oscars, the game awards increases year over year almost exponentially. Like, it is such growth because of the way that the show operates. But while knowing the show is that, this year, um, I think went a little too far for comfort. So obviously I already mentioned Indie Game of the Year. Basically, if you didn't see it, they just they just read it out. Nominees for Best Independent Game. Cocoon, Dave the Diver, Dredge, Sea of Stars, and Viewfinder. And the Game Award goes to Sea of Stars. Congrats, Sabotage. Here are the nominees for Best Community Support. And I had heard before that the Game Awards does this when there is nobody there to accept the award, there are alternatives. Let them play a video. For these people who made Sea of Stars, who maybe only have this opportunity one time to be recognized on this scale and their whole careers lead up to this point, to take that away from them, especially because for this year especially, and last year, so many of these teams worked through the pandemic, which was so difficult for game development. And you have an opportunity and a platform and, and a name, the Game Awards, to have an impact on their lives forever. You know, that's a thing that sticks with them forever. And it's rushed off to run into an overly long segment with Kojima and Jordan Peele, which by the way, that game looks sick. Like we saw nothing, but I was so hot. <laughs> happy to see it. Not happy to see that conversation at the expense of winner speeches. So not only are some of them removed, they also got played off. And it was very brutal to watch uh, a particular studio I talk about, somebody who died <laughs> and the music starts. They're playing them off. I wanted to note that it sounds like you can't hear the play it off audio as well as we could hear it in the room in some of the streams. Uh, but we also saw that in person, they had a sign saying, please wrap it up. 
which I believe for Baldur's Gate 3, except in Game of the Year, actually showed up pretty much around the time where they were talking about their colleagues who passed away. Apparently they only had about a minute to make acceptance speeches and obviously Chris Judge's speech went rather long last year and I get that they don't want everybody giving an eight minute speech, but a minute? One minute? They also, because of the ridiculous kid that came up on stage for Game of the Year last year with Elden Ring and said Bill Clinton, Rabbi, whatever the fuck he said. <laughs> Why? God, what a waste of time. Only allowed two people on stage at the Game Awards now, which I also think really sucks because you used to be able to bring up like your whole team if you won Game of the Year. And again, these people work so hard for so long to get so much criticism on the internet all the time that they get this one experience and now they can't do it anymore. It does matter to these people. That's that's your life. People, people, people work so hard and it absolutely does mean everything to have your industry, your peers, the public, the audience, like the thing you made. <laughs> of course that matters. So to have it be rushed through, I feel like just made the show feel very soulless. And then my biggest criticism, and this is a thing that I think they've been doing repeatedly that I just kind of hate, is all the celebrities. There are a lot of people that they've had present awards at the Game Awards that I like. I'm friendly with Simi Liu. I would consider him an acquaintance. But people are rightly criticizing him for getting more time to talk about the fact that he had his foot in a cast than most people got to accept their awards. And while Anthony Mackie may be in a video game, he got to spend more time telling audience members to shut up, which rightly the heckling was obnoxious, especially being there in person. He got more time to do that than the people got to accept their awards. And Timothy Chalamet being chosen to present Game of the Year, it feels like the Game Awards doesn't think video games are cool enough. It feels like the Game Awards is embarrassed by video games. Reggie was there. Todd Howard was there. Phil Spencer was there. These people who are leaders in our industry were at the Game Awards sitting in the seats in front of me. The people who it would make sense to receive Game of the Year from. And Timothy Chalamet, a very young actor, modded controllers 360, who made a couple of videos and sold 360 controllers that he'd spray painted for $10 a piece, presented Game of the Year? It feels like star fucking, and it feels like the people who make the video games that are running the show and funding the show don't matter enough or are not cool enough or are not Hollywood enough to present the awards. And I just feel like that is something that I felt about the Game Awards for a while, but it felt like much more nagging this year. Again, Timothy Chalamet? Why? Other than being a celebrity who is not a celebrity in our industry, you could at least choose gaming content creators if you want people with huge followings. It just feels like, look, either it's what I had to do, which is like you have to choose a certain amount of popular people in order to please advertisers. I had to do that uh, with the last year Video Game Accessibility Awards. We got Ryan Reynolds. And I had to pick some friends who are very popular content creators because that's the only way that I could get the sponsorship to pay for the show. This is like, here are these numbers. These people are involved and may share things, hopefully. It's possible Jeff has to do that too, just to fund the show. But I can't imagine he's having it as hard as my little indie awards show. And it just, yeah, it feels like Hollywood pandering. It felt that way with Vin Diesel. It just feels like the people making the games don't matter. And I feel like that was very much sort of escalated this year. Like the people who make the games don't matter to the Game Awards. They really should be the only thing that matters. Yes, we all watch for the fun trailers. And yes, I have a great time watching those. And those are why I'm excited for the most part. No, I do not ever want that to come at the expense of the people who work on making these video games. The people who work on the video games are the reason we get to enjoy the trailers and the reason we get to be excited about what's next and the reason that we get to experience any of the things we experience that make this show relevant. My point is really just, I get that it's hard. I think I maybe get that more than most people do. I understand that making an award show is really hard and I don't have a ton of insightful stuff to say here other than just like sharing disappointment that I think I've seen a lot of my peers also share that this year especially felt actively kind of disrespectful to game developers and game development. And if anything, I just feel like talking about it and airing it here and everybody else who's airing it, in theory, if you have enough people airing it, um, it will be taken seriously. I just feel very sorry for all of the people who worked so hard to create things that we all get to enjoy on our couches at home, for them to have an opportunity to be recognized for that as people and not just as 
you know, the splash screen when a game starts up and it feels like it was reduced and made irrelevant as much as possible. It almost feels like the Game Awards and Winter Game Fest should be two separate nights or two separate events because calling it the Game Awards almost feels dishonest at this point. I don't know. To every game developer out there who worked on any of the games who were nominated or not nominated this year, I just want to say thank you. Um, I think you're really fucking cool. I've been inspired by you since I was a child and I am where I am now because I had the opportunity to see different developers speak at different conferences with different award ceremonies and to see how passionate people are and to see how clearly emotional they get about the things that they've created that take years and years and years of their lives that they will never get back for one opportunity for one kind of flash in the pan too because everybody moves on so fast i just um thank you for making video games i think you're way cooler than actors like so much cooler than actors and i would love to hear what all of you have to say and i hope that you know that there are a lot of people that appreciate the work that you do and the, the time that you give us and the impact that you have on our lives as well. And I think a lot of people feel the same way that I do. I'm not going to say I know how to run an award show better than Jeff. Again, I run one. I don't. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just still felt the need to make this to say something, I guess, to just try to advocate for it. Playing music when somebody was talking about a colleague who worked on the game who died, dude. What are you doing? <laughs>